Hey, it's Claudia. Visit Bucks County's local tourist. I don't know so you, many Claudia. A unique coffee shop. Ramble. No, or is it because you have to Did you you know have a signature? Uh, uh, um, <laughs> and maybe at one point it was for me to go Almost like wearing a backwards cap. Yeah. Might have been sort of funny at a time. Not ironic. For a oh. lot of reasons. And now I believe it is just a part of my repertoire. Uh huh. It's part of the brand. But I think that also it's about me having acid reflux. Oh. Low key. Low key. Okay. And I know, and I think that it's also that I need to, I need to smell gas. You know, you think for the reef? I, I haven't taken any reefer lux <laughs> or my reflux. <laughs> but I believe that uh, it's not really triggered by much. It just sort of, sort of carbonated beverages and an immediate need to belch, but I think that's almost all people know. So I don't think carbonated beverages I, I burp from the water. I burp from uh, the water. I will wake up in the morning. If I have had no liquids in the last eight hours, I will burp. I think it's a little vinegar than it or of course. I think I always do a bedtime volcano experiment. I think burping is more feminine than carbon. That without a t-shirt. <laughs> uh, and feminine, I think that I don't. Because I never burp, but I do, and I hate to say this, I do fart sometimes. So is it farting? <laughs> is it farting more feminine? No, I feel like it's. I I always wish I I burp instead of farting. I actually disagree, Randy. I hate to say it because <laughs> we're talking about a gender binary here, but I believe a little yeah. fart <laughs> could be very feminine. <laughs> I believe it could be very the, the, the crazy thing about farts is that. Sometimes, Ooh, you know, it it <laughs> sometimes you think it's going to be a tiny little part, and it, yeah. it packs a punch, but how is that even possible? Yeah. Like, the air the molecules that came out of me, so few, and yet, so many. Yeah. I, I've learned to keep, just to know that I'm, if, even if I loaded the gun, I'm never firing guns. I mean, what was the first time you fired the gun? Yeah. Becky? Yeah. Still happened. No, we no, 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 Never got away with it. Welcome to the night club. We're going to that abandoned zoo. Los Angeles Zoo. Try and get us out of that. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Yeah, there's no security. No security. It's abandoned. It's an abandoned zoo. I think Keith Miles Brandy and Seth Dermalis is like Sleuth Town. We're Sleuth. Operation Sleuth. Operation Sleuth Town. A special animated special. It's not the adventure podcast. That's right. Exactly. so cool. Now, what's been really good with you guys lately? Because, uh... I've got sensitive, unfortunately, I have to admit it, having a thin ear is less flaccid. I'm not taking drugs in there. It's a medical issue, but like they didn't have to do it with that. Why are you thinking it's so thin? Thin. Flaccid is like... Flaccid is... 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 Flaccid you know what? Let's talk about the word penis sounds so vulgar, but penis? it's not. No, penis. Oh, it's oh, actually a very beautiful penis. position. Yes. Yes. Very, well, I would say penises can also be very beautiful. Yeah. Although maybe. We're going to play a game called Penis or Penis. <laughs> we're going to play a little sound sample. You tell me about this. Or a dog. I'll play the first sound sample. <laughs> That's a penis. It's a penis clock. It's a penis clapping or a penis clapping. It's 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 a penis cl
Yeah. That's a good Why question. is this position better than the old position? And so I think we want to mm. just walk around and see what was what's wrong with the first location. It's true crime in a lot of to scout it out. Let's actually produce this. And, 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 and that's a work trip. And that's going to be on the computer. And you have to stop at the bay, obviously. Let's get your little hungry on the computer. Maybe there's another new security guard. Yeah. Maybe he stamped out in this room too all night. He's just sort of in the night. A stakeout? Talk about a stakeout. So funny. By the way, the podcast is a stakeout outside of. He's in like right, so it'd be us with Keith outside of Zach's house staking yeah. out. It's so funny. <laughs> Just to be like, okay, we're staking out Zach's house, we're gonna see if he wants to go and get started. Why don't you go outside that high schooler's house again like that? Oh, yeah, I think if you stake out a high school, we may have some people. Yeah, I guess you're right. But in a lot of ways we were just sort of staking him out. Yeah. Or well, it was an accident. Yeah. It was an accidental stakeout. We should have stake in the house. Mm-hmm. I guess that's fake house. I will say that, uh, I mean, the only stake out is like. Yeah, from the titular, the titular character. Wait, is it the wind? Yeah. Only the titular. You want to pick now? Uh. Okay, yeah. that's okay. Yeah. 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 I, I, I like it. It's fun. I like it. It's I like fun. it too. Well, I like the first one too. I, I don't know. This is living. I don't know. 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 What do you guys say? I know Griffith Park is really uh, startlingly hilly, which I didn't expect. When I moved to Los Angeles, I was thinking, okay, park. I'm picturing oh, Central Park. Yeah, Griffith Park you know. is like a hiking trail system. It's, it's huge. Yeah. A lot of interesting people at the park today. Huh? <laughs> are we going to a zoo or are we going to a picnic? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 In some areas that don't yes. feel safe. Yes. I'm about to do that again. Yeah. <laughs> I was. I actually was wondering: Are we going to have the guts to do it? I mean, there's children always playing around that thing. No, yeah. but it's spooky. It there's definitely is. It's hundred percent. Who needs a lot of the The animals. Yeah. I don't even know about animals. I just need to watch people. Have yeah. you been there? I have. When did you go? Uh, I went a couple of years ago. I scouted. Well, first of all, me, Keith, and Zach reported something at one of these things. And uh, it was one of the first blogs, which was a concert. sponsored segment. It was like, get out there and enjoy nature. Yeah. And it oh, changed oh. our lives. It changed our lives. And we were like, that was so fun. We should be doing this more often. And then we did. And then me, you, and Zach went to coffee that one time. And then we were like, oh, yeah. <laughs> then we really liked it. But yeah, no, I, I think that this is also the favorite place I would come if I was a high schooler and I was looking to park my car so I could get. You know, <laughs> people have had sex in these little places where we're about to go climb around. In. Yeah, well, oh, to me, it's you just know it. As a high schooler, the only thing I was thinking was where can me and my high school girlfriend park the car so we can kind of diddle in the back? Yeah, so you can pull around. Wow. That's how you can sort of the cops thing. Yeah, you have to all listen. It's pretty thrilling. Maybe it was a hundred episodes ago. Sure, so yeah. I mean, someone <laughs> listening now is like, go on. Long well, story short, we were diddling in the back in a parking lot of my Volvo during the daytime. During the daytime? That's, okay. That's risky business. Afternoon delight. Oh, that was more Saturday. Where was the car? Where was the car? Where was the, car? Where was the, car? the car was in the back of a giant parking lot parked away so the trunk was facing the wood. You were in the oh. There's a station. You were in the trunk? There's a station wagon. That's really convenient. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
penis over here. <laughs> <laughs> we got a good penis. Unfortunately, yeah, it would be fun for us all that. Oh, the walkie talkie pod where we just I was at our houses where we have like all <laughs> do they have like do they send out I'll probably probably like record for receiving you must yeah you must third, yeah, yeah, yeah you must have the fourth one yeah. the fifth one of course so we can record all walkie talkie <laughs> quality audio so <laughs> it would be funny although it just be fun. I mean in a lot of ways that's what we could do for Canada just too it's just we had a little wire high tech like Maybe. Maybe. Um, what's your favorite walkie As a kid, I loved them, and me and my friend were like, we're going to give each other walkie talkies all the time. Oh, we should remind us. Remind us forever. Uh, yeah, so, the big walkie talkie, adorable. Yeah. Walkie? Walkie. 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 It's not the first cell phone. I mean, I had them for uh, like, yeah. Colorado for like skiing and like mountain stuff, but there's no cell service. So they would, my parents would get to me. Yeah, I had a whistle and a walkie talkie. Cut me out the woods with a whistle. <laughs> I love it's so fun. Like I think one thing we're gonna talk to you, like yeah. it's so fun. But when I was little I didn't know that if you're still holding down a talk, the other person can't talk. You have to un so I was like, I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost. and then my mom was kind of trying to like reach me, but since I had the thing uh, You're just what you just yeah. mashing down the screen button. Yeah, yeah. You're lost. It was probably it had to be under. But I like I have a memory of it. Like it was very scary. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, but there's something nice about like going in the middle of the woods and walking talking. It was like the dragon's over. Getting lost in the woods and then you have to escape. The blind told you from the walking talking. Just the dragons get out of the forest. Get out of the forest challenge. Is really good. First get out of the forest. I put these guys five miles into the forest. Going one direction is five miles out, going the other direction is 35 miles, which is deeper in. It's not a hunting man for sport and trying out a challenge. You get people more guns or. More exactly. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Are you the dragon? <laughs> 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 Should we go to like how River Devon? Oh, I really like that. I mean, it's rolling like two of the same. Yeah, yeah. well, Rainy, Rainy is sort of having a panic down. <laughs> one of them is going to stop working. And I get her yeah. fears. But I think, uh, yeah, you just wait back to the cup of tuna today. Those are some reasons. And by the way, the difference is that one of them is. Uh, <laughs> one is a little worse. Yeah. <laughs> we can fix that in Easy fix. But also, yeah, you're just sort of going to have to go for a good enough. Of course. Aren't you, I can't believe you are not going to read it. Well, at this point, I'm a freelancer, so I'm sort of like, you know. Yeah, but even, I mean, even let's hope your, it works. Your tenure. I would say that I was always ready to say stop working, but at a certain point, stop working, it would be an act of God. It would no longer be my oh. fault because I've done so many things. Random. 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 Guys, that's what right. Barbie. Say, it's funny for you to hear you say that they were out of time because they were this concert on the scene. The 70s, but there everything comes right back. Right? And that is yeah. actually very true. I think it's also just your routine. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to remember. Uh, short to the back. Yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> short to the back. Honestly. Yeah, short to the back. I remember in the previous movie, I love you. It's quite a bit. 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 This is like last Christmas. Do you remember your old yeah. And Zach shamed me long time. That was like three years ago. <laughs> but yeah, Zach shamed me for my shoes. He said, wow, I really like your shoes. And then I got new shoes. For the shoe. I would like them, but then they sat for the shoe. And then they sat for the Yes. But I think that boots don't have as much support as a good right. sneaker, which is built to be, you know, around the world. Boots are tight, so they're hot. Yeah. <laughs> they're tight. 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 Oh, like my basically, God. basically, so this company had lots of mines, and they would acquire new mines every so often. Yeah. And they'd be like, okay, this mine says that we're paying uh, crop 
some kind of recurring tax on the machine. I don't know what the tax on these machines. So my office would be like, go and make sure they're still using those machines. They're paying for them. And if they're not using those machines, then we're going to sell them. Yeah. Because they didn't always trust the new mines that they bought. Right. To, to be honest. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> but, so wow. I would roll up and I, because you know, job, I'm like, yeah, run up. Just roll up. No, no, no. And this obviously <laughs> mostly 40s and 50 year old guys working there. Big, Myers. strong men. Yeah. Yeah, but I show up and I'm wearing like a button down and like have a clipboard. And they think I'm like Emsha, which is the, which is OSHA for mining. Oh. Uh, so I believe I'm going to say that's because mining is so they're all machinery. Like, like something makes like, or not yeah. asphalt, but like of size of rock from dust to pebble. To stones, to whatever. Huh. And they go on big conveyor belts and they're moving all over the place, and everything is covered in dust. Like cool. rock dust. Yeah. Just breathing in dust. Uh, Sometimes you're wearing that. You cannot go onto the property without a safety, uh, some kind of like glassware, a hard hat, and silver boots. And they want you to be like, you should wear jeans. And they're like, but it's like July. It's like, yeah, and it's like 100. Like coveralls and big denim. You know, it was that's what I did for two summers in a row. Well, the first summer I was actually just skating in gigantic pictures into their into their system because they were trying to turn all of their aerial shots of their land into a digital interface. Oh. Yeah. And they thought it would take me the whole summer, but I got done with it in a month. Oh, and I foolishly yeah. told them I finished it. Oh yeah, I should have waited one day. Yeah, but instead I was like, they were like, oh, we don't really have much for you to do. And I'm like, mm-hmm. and then this is, I was like. I was like, I could like um, put the, the images over your parcel land maps and like make it so you know exactly where the lines and the thing are. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then I did it. And then I, they had like this beginning Google Earth beta. Huh. And you could literally take, I could take our like so, yeah, as a parcel number. And I would look up our parcel numbers. I find numbers. I would have our relation to each other. Totally. And then the owner or like the president came by. And like, I just thought you might want it. But, they, but I was a temp. I wasn't an intern. I was yeah. a temp. Right. Mm-hmm. So it was like an hourly thing. But they have real interns. But one of the one of the interns, couple of interns, very smart. Early interns. Were very smart. Early interns were very smart. <laughs> <laughs> and then they came by and they were just like, you suck. They were just like, I know you're a temp, but you're just going to do what the interns are doing because you don't trust this other guy. That's so funny. So you're going to go. And so I was like leading their interns on these like expeditions yeah. and, uh, to do various places. And we drove the company trucks. I yeah. these big old trucks. Yeah, that's that's right. the coolest thing. Coolest thing. I never got to do what I want to do someday. In a quarry are the largest trucks on Earth. These are, I'm not, no, no exaggeration. These yeah. are where the okay. largest trucks on Earth huh? are. And huh. How big I'm is the largest truck? The tire is four times my height. For one oh my god. Oh, that These is are, not what I was picturing. That's, that's a big truck. <laughs> I'll pull out the picture for you. Oh, okay, so you put it in the video. You can't even fathom the size of what a truck could be. Because they don't even need to go on the road. They're bigger than the road. They'll they're break the road. Yeah. They'll break the road because they're too big. You ever seen like roads have like weight limits? Yeah. That literally is because the amount of like the rock oh. can't support certain weights so will crack. So, like if you put like a a bunch of bowling balls on your coffee table, eventually it'll crack, right? Yeah. yeah. Same with road. Put too many bowling balls on it. Put too many bowling balls on it, it's going to crack. I was thinking you should, I was thinking this big hole. All I can think about are the rooms full of bowling balls. Oh, I wish they brought a bowling ball. Oh, and that's why I always say I got a bowling ball, and I forgot to do that. <laughs> First day in a year that I forgot. I'm like, you might need a bowling ball. It's got to be the blog bag. Yeah, the blog bag. Really heavy blood guy. <laughs> but maybe there's only two of me. Oh my god, that's <laughs> fucking gigantic. <laughs> that is so yeah. big. Big old dump trucks. That is crazy. It's wider than the two lane road it's trying to drive on. That is crazy. Yeah. Big trucks. Big trucks. You see <laughs> that, you do feel that. You feel awesome. <laughs> I want to. I wanted to drive it, but obviously I did not have whatever. <laughs> yeah, every day you start the day, they're going, Did I drive the truck today? Hey, maybe a little bit. After college, if you. I know you're going to be a performer, but it doesn't work out. I mean, you have a job here. Wow. I, at, uh, what would I do? I don't, I don't want to do this. I mean, I worked in the offices. Yeah. And the offices are all very, like, 
corporate. Uh, yeah. My dad was like, he worked at mines and he was uh, an underground mining uh, engineer. Yeah. And he like designed underground mines. That's so cool. So he would like, um, you know, literally do the, the cat, you would use cat, which is like a, um, a architecture. So oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And he would like scope out and have to like, how thick did the stone need to be for how that big of a hole they should be. Yeah, and but I, everyone else there, I mean, there, there are people like, like people are like, that's fine. So if you can like say like, okay, I know this big whole stuff, but in ten years we're gonna build you this beautiful park, and I'll literally design it and show you the pictures of this is what it will look like. Oh, and we're going to make sure it can become all the You know the funny thing about mines. Well, actually, is that um, when you're mining for one material, yeah. if you find another cool material, it's useless to you. So, oh, no. some, no, and it's great because yeah. if you're like digging for one thing and suddenly you find a big bed of crystals, yeah. you're like, I don't need these crystals. But somebody does. Give them away. <gasps> Give them away. <laughs> they're not, that's not what they're looking for. That's yeah. all they want. It's, so it's you're not going to sell them? We'll make it. Of course, that doesn't matter. Versus the thousands of pounds. Yeah, of that's not what they're there for. Yeah. Uh, so every so often they'll find like this. And I think there might be something cool in this property that we're on right now. Yeah. What they'll do is they'll dig a hole 100 feet deep. That's about this long. Yeah. And they'll pull out 100 feet cool. of stone of the core. And you know what it's called? Boring. What does the underground rock look like? They can put it's all the shit we want. Yeah. But I mean, it's not worth the money of digging it up unless it's like that. And it's wow. several hundred feet in every direction, so we know there's a big deposit to dig. Yeah. Sometimes you'll find a small deposit, but the cost of getting that out is more than the cost of selling that into. Oh, that's so interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, well, speaking of that, Steve, behind us, we've got some big old rocks. Yeah. Around. What do you think was, was in here? Monkeys or. I think that this might have been like one of those peacock, not peacocks, but like, oh, for a zoo. And she said, for a zoo. And she for a zoo. Like an ostrich? No, it's like people come in and they see this big rock foundation and a bitch. You can see. Uh, I'm going to look up a photo because I think I, I think that this is. Actually, not to do the shoes because I'm here. It's free. It's free. Well, it's cheap, probably, and you can probably get away from it. And oh, oh, I was wrong. What was here? What, it is. Is. what is it? Eggs. <laughs> it's really cool. Wait, okay, flamingos? It's gotta be flamingos. <laughs> um, 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 oh, the, 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 the little red raccoon, red foxes. Oh, I wish. No, it's a polar bear. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Blueberries are so sweet. This door, and I was like, oh, I wonder if there's water behind that. There is a door. Yeah, yeah. you can climb up some stairs and get to a spooky spot if you want. I think it's a lot. Oh, yeah. Or, I'll go find out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think you got to explore. Now, this is, um, we're sort of urban exploring. Most. <laughs> well, said we're urban exploring. Well, I was going to I think Rady can wiggle through the wire. He's our bravest soldier. Get that Me. Wow. And you're like, they got us so excited. I never know. Can I take the video? Yeah, can we talk? I don't really have a time. I mean, I'm trying to say, wait, I don't have time to come to the park. But it is really nice to be here. I guess I probably will start bringing the kid to the parks more often. That's one thing that I'm sort of doing is like, they have a band, they have a series, they have a band, 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 Okay, good. Oh, it's a little bit of everything. We'll just get 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 a most of the time, you experiencing these and other symptoms that are difficult to understand. These symptoms are worth exploring with a doctor. Learn more about major depressive disorder. Special treatment options.